Jalen's ability to dribble a basketball has been a topic of conversation for a while now, and it was highlighted again after he had eight turnovers in Game 7. For the playoffs, Brown had 68 assists to 66 turnovers. For someone that has watched him over his career, has this always been an issue? And do you see any hope for improvement in that department? So that's what, what's weird about the playoffs is that he actually was a lot better not turning the ball over this year. Um, generally, his turnovers would come when he would try to go ISO into a trap and he would try to do like a quadruple through the legs, like a bunch of crazy moves that he either pulls off and he looks like Michael Jordan or he turns it over. It looks like Michael K. Gilchrist. So um, yeah. he, you know, when he got to the NBA, he couldn't dribble on the fast break, like literally dribbled it off of his foot every time he'd do a fast break. Now he's one of the best transition players in the NBA. So his, mm -hmm. his growth over the years has been incredible. I don't know why it was so bad in the playoffs. He is cl He clearly was dealing with the left wrist injury and he refused to acknowledge it. Everyone around him refused to acknowledge it, but everyone, you ask all the sources around their team, they're like, yeah, he hasn't said anything, but like clearly there's something going on there. And then you see all these turnovers he had where he would cross over to his left and it would just kind of like fly off of his left hand. It's like, that looks like somebody that's hurt. That just doesn't make sense. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if the injury was a big part of that, but either way, his turnovers, fumbling the ball on really complex dribble moves has been a problem. Figuring out how to break through traps without turning it over has been a problem. Tatum is a lot better at that. It's one of Tatum's good skill sets. And then Jalen's always had a penchant for getting up in the air because he hangs in the air forever. He's got amazing hang time. And then he won't see the shot he wants, so we'll start panicking, looking for a pass, and then throw it away. So I think he got better at fixing those problems this year, but like he has to cut them down completely if he's going to be a truly great Supermax-level player.